Welcome back you guys. Today we're going to be working on a Glock 20. This is a 10 millimeter slide. These are super heavy duty. We have a lot of people reach out to us to have stuff done like optic cuts and coloring, but we don't find ourselves doing that much cut work on the 20 and 21 model slides. I think a lot of that just comes down to a lot of people steer away from these because of how heavy of a slide they are. Great opportunity to cut the slide, get some windows, weight reduction, just overall really make a change to the model and feel a little bit more comfortable using it on the daily because it weighs a lot less. Let's talk a little bit about the work. Let's go into that. Of course, we're going to show it and bring it back. Guys, one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be shaving the sides off of the slide. So we're going to keep the rear serrations where they are. We're going to start here. We're going to work our way forward. Of course, the same thing is going to happen on this side, starting from the rear serrations forward. This is all going to get shaved. We're going to work our way around the ejection side. We're going to end up doing some side windows in the front zone here. We're gonna do a Cobra nose. And then on the top, we're gonna to end up doing a series of windows and diamond knurling. So we happen to have a lot of changes. We are gonna see pretty good weight reduction on this slide. I'm really interested in seeing how this comes out. This is, I'm, I'm just taking a guess here. <clears throat> I'm thinking this is either a Gen 2 or possibly an early Gen 3. I say that because one of the reasons is the nose in the front, so that's the first indication that we're a one, two, or three. The other idea is that uh, some of the deeper serrations were on the earlier models and also the step down in the inside where the front iron sight goes, it's almost like a circular ring and then there's another step down. So we usually see that on the very early generation slides. Great opportunity, I think, here today to take an older model and move it kind of into a newer version of what it could turn into by doing that cut work. I think it's a great idea. You could start with a new gun and you can do the work, or you can start with an old gun and do the work, and they both come out kind of looking really nice in the end. We do happen to have some upgraded iron sights. Never heard of these guys. I don't know much about them. So we're going to uh, probably just review that a little bit more when, uh, when that time comes, once we get that put together. So obviously you guys will get a chance to see that in the end. What does it look like? How does it work with our pattern? Great opportunity there as well. Guys, at this point, I think what we need to do is jump over to the CNC. We're going to start with some of this cut work. We're going to then move into coloring. Uh, I believe we're doing Glacier Silver, so that's a really cool color. Um, and, of course, things are subject to change. If something happens along the way, the pattern doesn't work, something maybe would work a little bit better. These are things that we would discuss with our customer, and then we would add that to the to the video, and then, of course, we'll discuss that a little bit more in the end when it comes back. J guys, let's jump into the cut work. Let's see what we come up with. guys now that we have completed the cut work we ended up adding glacier silver to the slide we've installed this new set of sights here let's just kind of go through the work i want to discuss that a little bit more i do have some notes about this build um just a couple of uh ideas some things i want to talk about a little bit more let's first start with the cut work so we ended up doing a side shave we ended up doing triple windows with a little bit of a step down and then a cobra nose 
very, very good design for weight reduction, barrel exposure. Uh, there just happens to be a lot of advantages to shaving the entire side. Of course, adding those windows you know, to be able to see the barrel more. Also to give us a little bit of a place for our figures to go if you're doing a hand over top. Uh, over the front section of the slide and want to do some sort of cycling. On the top, we ended up doing a neural pattern, as you guys can see, that is very, very nice. I'm gonna see if we can get that a little closer. We do have pictures, of course. And then we ended up doing a, a, a minor step down with five windows. Now, very interesting on this top, and I say that because we hadn't ever used these iron sights before, so we are building a design specific to this slide with these sights. We ended up doing a small step down, just like you see on the sides, right? And we ended up recessing it just a little right here for that front iron sight. The idea here is we didn't want the iron sight to go into that step down or into the window. So sometimes attention to detail means a lot for us when we're building something especially when we have all the parts in hand, right? So if we build something and we, you get it back and you put your iron sights in and we didn't know, that's one thing. But if we're building something, we have all the pieces here, let's build them to the best of the pattern design that we can, we can do, right? And that's exactly what we've done here. We ended up doing a deep engraving of the 10 millimeter custom Glock. Now this happens to be a pretty aggressive engraving, so the bottom of that is a textured uh, fill. It does stand out a little bit more. My personal opinion is I think I would probably do a color fill on it to get a little bit a two-tone-ish, whether you went with something like a tungsten, you want to stay with a, with the gray tone, you went into a sniper gray, or maybe even into a black, because you really wanted to offset tone. A lot of that's just going to come down to what is the barrel. If you're going to go with a silver barrel, you might want to leave it. If you're going to go with a black barrel, you might want to go with black. If you're going to go with a gold barrel, of course, you guys understand how this goes, you might want to go with gold. So, that's kind of one of the ideas that we really don't offer color fill, and I say that because, uh, you know... We're not, uh, we're not really set up for that. We can't really guarantee that it's going to stay in those engravings. We've definitely done it before in the past. If you search through our Instagram, you've probably seen it. It may be something that we do offer at some point, but it's usually something that the customer would do. They're going to you know, figure out exactly what color they want to do, and they, they would be able to color fill it from there. Let's talk a little bit about these sights. So once again, uh, at the beginning of the video, we did display this a little bit more. This was a set of sights that I had never seen before. Uh, definitely interesting and very hard going on. They do not want to go on the front one. You know, that's a that's a, not a problem. The rear one did not want to slide in, which is really interesting because it does have two locking set screws on the left and right of the adjustment screw. So it's really not that big of a deal. You know, it's not like it's not going to get tightened down, um, but it was really, really hard going in there. So there was a little bit of a fitment issue that I had to work through and lap the bottom of the iron sight. It's not uncommon for some of the, the more um, advanced sights when they're, when they're put in. Sometimes that becomes a problem. One of the issues that you do run into is this is Glacier Silver, and Glacier Silver is such a light coating, and sometimes some of that rubs off onto the slide we do our best to clean that up but it happens to be that when it is pretty much metal on metal contact something's gonna give right and there we are so we'll do our best to clean this up before it goes back out but you can expect that with really tight iron sights that you may end up seeing some wear it's no different than adding a barrel to the inside flipping it over and saying hey I've got a rub mark in here that's because it's metal on metal contact and eventually the weakest point being the coating is going to give with that being said guys really interesting on this build a lot of weight reduction really cool overall I'm glad we had the opportunity to work on the 20 model since we don't work on them a lot glad we had the opportunity to take you guys through that project show you a little bit more of what can be done what you can uh, build you know this is obviously a design we haven't done before uh, we ended up changing it up just a little bit with such a wide open window because I really do like this window. We move the side windows down a little bit more, giving us more structural strength in the corner, right? So the idea is that this, these windows probably could have came up if we were doing a single window, not so many on the top, but this was the design of the customer. So we ended up adjusting the side windows down to accommodate the top window, maximum opening for the barrel. Um, I really do like the top, and if I was going to do it again, I would probably stick with the top, maybe do a single window, adjusting it a little bit more, so um, so it's a little bit different, but overall, I really do like the design. It's very cool. I could I could probably see this being as a pattern that evolves. Uh, it ends up being changed and altered a little bit more, uh, just kind of depending on what is it going on, whether it's 1917, 2021, 20, 22. So, I could definitely see that. Guys, if you have not been following us, I would encourage you to follow us over on Instagram and Facebook. If you have any questions, we do have a contact tab. Here's a photograph of a regular Glock 20 out of the box, brand new when it was first made. This is the one that we used to saw in the video. 
and I think it turned out great. This is 100% my design. Mark did a fabulous job on it. I did an inlay here using fingernail polish. I kept the black barrel because I thought the contrast looked really nice. These up here are supposed to be for anti-glare. And then I put it on a polymer 80 frame. I stempled it, put all the internals in. It works great. So basically I had the stock gun and what I did is take all the internals out of it, although I did change the trigger. And I did change this and some other things, but basically it came out of that gun. And what that allowed me to do is have a much narrower grip. And as you can see, the stippling is quite nice. So this gun is much easier to hang on to and do a lot more with instead of the stock gun. I apologize for the close-ups, but the reason they're up here so close, the camera was having a hard time focusing on the silver. But let's lay it down and see if we can get a bigger, broader shot for you guys. So that's the gun the way it looks, and I think it turned out fabulous. Just as a side note, he also did my other one, the Model 21, which is a 45 ACP. This is one of his stock designs. I did not design this one, he did. And again, I can't say that, you know, more about him than he does a fabulous job. I put suppressor sights on here, along with a red dot, Swamp Fox optic and this gun is going to get treated in the same way as this one in terms of the bottom I just haven't got around to it but in reality it doesn't matter I can swap these back and forth between this frame so it's very versatile I think this is a one of a kind and this could be passed on for generations tell me what you guys think in the comments I hope you guys watched the video at the end and got to see the finished product thank you for watching my channel and again, have a great day.